Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I am here again. I will, you know, I took the night off of streaming. I did a little sponsorship over the weekend and I was streaming a lot of hours. And then, I don't know, last night I just slept like 12 hours. So, uh, good morning. And let's get into it, shall we? I played a few runs yesterday. I played like, uh, just off camera, I played like four or five runs just for fun, basically. I don't know. Usually, good sign to me. Now let's ruin it and let's play greens. I like the greens team a lot, even though I think it is kind of terrible. Well, my music feels a little loud. There we go. Uh, I think the biggest problem with this team is the band, because it bans any magic heroes like Dabbler and most importantly, it bans Curator, who I think is extremely good. It also bans Cleric and Poet, uh, which, you know, fine on those, but I think it's just a bit of a shame, the bans. Anyway, uh, I think, I think odd single use isn't too bad. I kind of want to try spiky monsters. I think Spiky Monsters is going to be really annoying, though. Stony Grasp, I have lost runs when this came on me uh, from the Jinx. I've just died to Stony Grasp. But you could always cleanse it. It applies after items, it says. I think the Tier 8 Curse is not pickable, because you only get to pick of two curses, and Tier 8 Curses are definitely game-losing if you get the wrong one. Hmm. I think Odd Single Use is fine. That's what I'm gonna play here. It's gonna make some characters a little worse, but like, a lot of characters aren't even gonna notice it. Do I have a three for reflection? I don't. But we'll just kill one of the archers. Oh, we're not even dying to anything other than the rat, so it's all good, we can guilt. Now obviously, Alloy is gonna have a lot of trouble with this. That's no surprise. Also, if you haven't seen these guys, Leaf is a, oh, Leaf is a boost. Ah, one keyword side, one blank side for a boost, and Thrike is a three damage for one three pip side. So if you get a three, you get to keep these, because these are single-use echo effects. So if you can boost the, the two up to a three, it's all good. Uh, mostly what we'll find here is that we're going to lose longer fights, I think. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just like a little bit lost here for a second, so okay, I'll catch up. I don't think it'll be too big of a deal though. Uh, yeah, don't click this. Probably don't click Gambler. I guess you play Guardian. Guardian's good with Scrapper, but this character is... Uh... The one thing I don't know is if I give this a plus one, is it still single use? I think it will be. So... I don't know, you cannot click Gambler here. So I guess I could take a random, actually. I think I'll take Guardian, though. It's fine. Just a... something to look out for. Here, let me use the growth and see what happens, because that'll help me learn real quick. So if I go growth... Okay, they do keep single use even if they change uh, numbers. That's all I had to see. And that's what I would expect, too. I would have been surprised if it didn't work like that. I would have been very, very shocked if it was not uh, like that, because, you know, the curse would just be fucking goofy then. It would be so free. This is fine. Uh, we're gonna mostly... I mean, most characters, I think, are gonna be fine with this even. Caster Root is, uh... It's alright. Heavy Eliminate is just goofy. I'm gonna take a random. Big shield? That one's good. Because now if I get a, a single use on the left side, I can big shield. Also, uh, I like taking these tier 1s that give big pips in case you see Dogma later on. Uh, Dogma is... Oh my god, I figure out how I survived this. I just kill here. Porter. 2 damage, 2 damage. I don't... I guess I could shield the thief here is fine. Okay, this changes things. Uh, I just have to kill the one that's killing my reflection. 
No. Oh, the boar is killing my reflection. And that's it. Two, four, six, off by one. So then I just kill this one. Okay. I should kill the top me too. Anyway, Dogma's the tier 5 item that says only the pips change when the side changes. So you take like these tier 7s, or the, these like, like the big one here is plus, or was it it's big heart? That's the 7 HP one. And then, or yeah, it's heal 7. And you play that with Dogma and suddenly your middle side becomes a 7. Same thing here with the shield. I will not be taking this. Is Alien any good? Field 5, heal 3. Kill an enemy with two or less, one blank, and two X damage. I think you could pick Alien here. We're gonna want guys that can use these sides. And I think Alien is the pick. Mimic is like, he's pretty terrible here, let's be real. And we're locked in on Guardian, so he's gonna continue to be pretty terrible. So Alien always brings the keyword, and then someone brings an X, and I can kill enemies under two with his tactic. Oh yeah, I think in general this is probably going to be a lot easier than I originally thought because we have all the tactics to use. Need cleanse, you can roll. X, that works. Kill an enemy with two or less HP. So we go here, and then we go like two, two. Oh, it has to be two damage. I thought this was keyword, no? One blank and two damage. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh... So I cannot kill this wolf. So I should reroll then. This shield is a waste. I thought I could use it. I, I got it mixed up, I guess. I should still use the growth. Three damage. So this is three damage, but now I don't have a blank. Tragic. We'll just hit the alpha. I'm very unconcerned in this fight. You and I both know how scary alpha is. I am quaking, as I'm sure you can imagine. Absolutely quaking in my boots right now. Can I? No, I cannot devoid kill. That's a lot of trouble with getting Alien to do anything is the main thought here. Like, I can't devoid because it's costing me all of my sides to drop them to 2 HP. I guess I'll be able to devoid next turn on the alpha, but two damage pips is like, I don't care, that's not going to be single use. I guess I take this one and who does nothing on this turn? I need to save Primrose. Honestly, Alien does nothing and the rest of you can roll. That does nothing. Okay. Well, good job, game. Was it kill all enemies? It is kill all enemies. Wow. I rolled four X's, so I don't know. These wolves might just rip me up. Two plus two. Guardian, I can't save Thief here, I don't think, because I lost my damage side. I have to roll the shield five. Uh, this is kind of looking grim, suddenly. Cleanse two. I can devoid, but it doesn't do anything. And then I can shield three, but it doesn't do anything. So, here we go. It's going to be a long road. You can cleanse two, though. And you can't cleanse the single use from the curse. Yeah, yeah. I'll be alright. Probably. I can devoid here if I lock these two. That'll be fine. Guardian, you're so worthless, it's kind of impressive. Alright, buddy, you gotta save our boy here. Uh-oh. I think I'm losing. Uh, okay, well this is now, I think, lost. Uh, yeah, I cannot kill this guy now. Because I'm single-use. I get him to three, but I can't kill him. What a tragedy, man. I have nothing I can do here. So I guess, uh, again, uh, we pick a new curse, we die sometimes. Odd single use? Uh, what a shame. I mean, mostly this is Alien, though. I think Alien was a bad pickup. In theory it was good, but in reality, I mean, oof. He did nothing. 
so yeah, numerically I cannot win, so we'll just uh, take the loss. How annoying though, like what a, this has happened, I, you know, I talked a lot of shit about Alpha to be fair, but this keeps happening to me, where I, uh, I pick this party, or I pick this party, these are the two parties where I pick these and I go, yeah, we could do this, it's fun, and then I just get killed. Uh, I take a curse and then I just lose the game. I think it was a fair theory, I just did not roll anything meaningful. Also, Guardian, fucking useless, so, you know, I should have probably random instead of taking Guardian, but bad picks into a loss. Let's go, uh, let's go magical. Uh, the good news is that since I lost, we can take some different curses and see how they are. Like, I want to try bottom blank and see if it makes a noticeable difference in the run. Uh, this is the other party that broke my streak, by the way, so I've, I've lost my streak twice now. I lost it once to that greens party, and I've lost it once to this party. Uh, this party, I died to thorns, basically. I rolled, uh, not this fight, but it was a thorn and four seeds, and all of the seeds hatched on turn one. And then I lost, because they, uh, they just killed me. They petrified me until I couldn't win. Because I didn't have lost, I had fucking scoundrel who couldn't do shit. So, I don't know. It's mostly just annoying when I lose, because now I have a bunch of runs I have to run to, uh, like, get back. You know, it's gonna take forever. Building up a streak takes so much time, but I can't just sit here and never take new curses. That's absurd. That's ridiculous. That reflection dies. Oh, wait, and splint dies. Hold on. Or lost dies? Uh, Splint thing. That's fine. But yeah, I think if you want to win streak, like if you really, really care, and it's like your big life's ambition to make a big streak, uh, you should just play a classic party. Because like this shit, these parties, they're fun and they're silly, but they're not very good is what you're going to find. I especially think the, the double greens party can have the problem that we just had, where you just roll bad characters and then have no damage. Which is, I had Hoarder plus one, but no one else on the team did any damage, so I'm just sitting there going, hmm. Also, this has sure happened to me a lot, huh? Immediate thought here, probably don't want to take bottom blank again, gotta tell ya. This shit's looking... dire. My reflection's dead anyway, so I may as well just, uh, kill the rat instead. That guy's just gonna die every fight, there's not much you can do about it. Uh, reflection in a party with no gray, yeah, I think he's not gonna be living. Just lock this. Mm, fine. That's alright. Oh yeah, I should probably hit the dodge. Huh. You can't dodge burn. I guess I could have just burned, though. No, whatever. But yeah, I, when I did all of the runs that I was doing off stream, part of the reason I did them off stream and off camera is because I just wanted to grind basic party to see how it felt. To see if it really, because I think it's better, but I wanted to see if it really was better. And I every run was like a 30 minute win. So my stance is pretty solidified. However, in those runs that I played, I did actually gain a bit of a respect for Priestess. I kind of like this character a little more now. So, mostly I think that Priestess is okay. The heal for vitality lets you get away with some shit. And maybe she'll keep my reflection alive. Eh, well, maybe not. At least I get a strike before you go. No? It's about to burn then. Sure. Bramble's not gonna take me out here. Although he definitely could. I think this boss is a little bit scarier uh, on some of the other parties you'll play. Right, my headphones have informed me that they're dying. I know you can't hear it, but if I don't plug them in, which I have done already, I'm going to spend this whole video randomly pausing, and you're going to think, hmm, I wonder why he's pausing. It's because my headphones very loudly went recharge headset. It drives me nuts. Stasis to the left side is alright. Uh, Wandafy, I think, is also alright, but I like Stasis more. Because this just goes here and now I don't lose three, or I can do the Inflict Pain. 
both viable. Anyway, what was I saying? You see, it's like it goes recharge headset and then I lose my train of thought because I go, ah, gross. This curse, by the way, first impression, probably would not pick this again. It basically just makes you much less consistent, which I don't like. Don't like at all. Burn here. Because now I can just roll XXX a lot more. What do you know? <laughs> what do you know? Oh, what do you know? I mean, it's it's literally just what I was talking about. We'll pray. The big thing about Priestess is I find that you can pray uh, one time and two times and you're up on mana. Fear. This is a 10 HP. Stun, reroll, reroll. This is always an X. Four damage heavy for two one keyword sides. Vampire with one less damage too is a shame, but I'll still take Vampire. I haven't picked Sphere yet, but I don't know. It doesn't sound great to me. Maybe I get a three here somehow. Oh wow, a three. I actually didn't think there was one. That's cool. So we strike the quartz. Kill it. Burn, burst, burst. Yeah, there you go. Got it. Pocket phylactery, smelly manure. Oh, pocket phylactery with that stasis is cool, actually. Smelly manure, a little worse since we have bottom blank, but that's kind of cool. Neat, even. Reflection is my favorite of the new greens, I think. I know you probably think it's House Cat. Many people love House Cat. House Cat's cool, but Reflection is so... I, I love the concept of this character so much. He's so sick. You make a four damage echo, and then if you're really lucky, you just value play it. So cool. What a guy. Nice, they both targeted me. Or targeted the same, so I can go two, four, or six. Actually, be gone. Spine. I am not clicking on spine. Uh, Dabbler loses her heal, which doesn't matter. So I'll take Dabbler. And yeah, that's fine. Of the bosses, by the way, I think Bell is about the same power. Uh, the exert doesn't scare me too much. The boss that scares me the most now is uh. What's his name? Fucking Rotten, dude. That boss is terrifying. Do not want to fight Rotten anymore. I think he's a uh, he's a real freak. No one all allies cruel. Vampire's spell is gonna do a lot of work for me on this following. Yeah, this turn right here. I think I'm just gonna go pray plus uh, infuse. Bell getting this though, the fucking exert is kind of neat. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to kill themselves, I'm pretty sure. Pray. Heal. 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 Like, we can chill. There's no reason to race it. I'm fine. And they'll be dead soon. Like so. Magic Staff Apple. I think a lot of the tier threes are where you're gonna really realize that this bottom blank was bad. Because a lot of these characters are just going to be sad. Uh, I go Priestess Magic Staff, though. I think it's a little better. Should be sick if I didn't have bottom blank. But that's all right. Four Vitality. Man. It's a good day for reflection. I mean, I guess I just... No, I kind of just want to kill one. Hmm. I guess it's better to go strike though. I'm gonna play burn, burst, heal, burst. I guess it doesn't matter. From this spot, the imps are already dead and buried. There's no shot they survive this. All right, burst. Yeah, there you go. Uh, presence. What did he lose? He loses growth. I think that's fine. Also, Presence pairs really well with Fiend, because you can proc as intangible. You can proc Presence as intangible, I mean to say. Uh, let's put this on... Nah, I don't want to put this on Priestess. 
But yeah, presence is yeah, presence is taking like a five here. I can hit burn and proc is intangible, which is a sweet little maneuver here. Or was it it's cruel death wish? Sure. Mm. Two damage is fine, I guess. But like, so you see he's taking five, you go burn. Now he only takes one that turn. Pretty cool. Now he does he just gains empty health. He doesn't gain uh intangible health, but that's fine. Usable dice remaining? Oh right, sorry, I completely forgot. I was gonna do this. That's a lot of health. What's my usable dice remaining? Okay, it's just how, what did I not use, I wonder. Hmm. Uh, now they just all kill priestess. Kill the healer, I get it. Engage. I go burn, probably. It just feels like lethal even. One of my goals, by the way, I said this in the Discord, I think, but by the way, join the Discord. Go talk about Slice and Dice with me. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Hamstring, but we get bottom cantrip, but I already have bottom blank. I just don't think that hamstring is a six point blessing. It's like a three or a four, maybe. Uh, one of my goals, though, is to speed up how fast I play. I'm gonna go Ruby here. I, I want to get to a point, because, you know, one of the big things about building a big win streak is you have to play a lot of runs. If I'm trying to build up a, like, I don't know, I'm trying to build, like, a, a 20 or a 30 game win streak and every run is an hour, I mean, you can put the numbers together yourself, I'm sure. You can figure out how much, uh, how much time it takes to finish that. It's quite a bit, right? So it'd be nice if I could speed up quite a bit. Getting the runs down by even half is a big difference. Wow. Hope you're, hope you're happy with yourself here, Fiend. It's okay, I'm really under very little threat. I'm trying to stop myself from having to take Banshee Screech damage, but I have a feeling I'm going to take Banshee Screech damage here. Don't go XX, you're going to die. Alright, good. Time to take the Screech damage. Uh, they're targeting both on my Dabbler, so we just go. Hey. Oh, because burn. Yeah. There. All good. Uh, no, I do not want that. Jumble is pretty fun. Warlock is also pretty good here, because I can give him phylactery. The problem is that he only has a few sides, but I still think he's good. Because we have Giga Mana, like, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you can't stasis on this, though. If you stasis Bloodlust, it gets stuck on two. So, it's okay. Uh, we'll stasis Vampire, then. That's fine. But yeah, Warlock is good just because we're going to make so much mana that uh, it doesn't even matter that he is not going to use the Magic Staff very well. I think I have to care. Yeah, we go. Engage. Giga heal, 4 mana, plus 2, plus 2, I think? Hmm, my presence. I almost wonder if top blank is better because, uh, petrify order. Hmm, maybe it is. 6 mana. If you're intangible, do you take weaken? I think you would. I'm pretty sure enemies would, so I think we would as well. I'm gonna hold off here. You wanna to not waste it? Because I can definitely go for a uh, blaze on the warlock here, which is probably not very good, actually. Ah, uh, too bad. We go cleanse and get our extra one mana out. This is probably a mistake, because I'm just going to have five bones looking at me. Probably the better play is to go like this. It just it feels like a waste, but uh, sometimes you have to realize that sending it like that isn't very good. Like, I, it feels like it's good, but it really isn't. You, you go for the optimized play. Oh yeah, maximizing my mana usage. I don't need to optimize my mana usage versus Lich. Lich doesn't do anything. If I'm, if it's just me and Lich on the screen, I'm in a good spot. I'm happy. So like, don't, 
fuck it up here to try and maximize my blaze value. That's stupid. Here, I don't need the burst, though. We just keep the number of bones down. Sometimes you gotta remember that it's fine to play slow. And by fine, I mean, or sometimes I mean it's often fine to play it out like this in this fight. Fun stall is kind of neat. Uh, there's no reason to burst here. I'm not killing anything. Please, Lich, stop spawning bones. You're not, it's not cool. You're just irritating. There's a death wish here. Nice. 11 mana. 1, 2... Damn, there's probably a better way to do the bone math. Let's see. First, first. First, first. First. There you go. Oh yeah, now he's just gonna sit here and chain weaken me. Get this guy out of here. Someone talk to the Lich. Tell him that it's over. It's okay, Lich. You don't have to win every fight. Get him off my screen. This is what I'm saying, though. Even with the reduced mana gain, Warlock is good. I wonder if this curse is only really good, though, because of the uh, party comp. Because this party comp, you know, the mana is very well spread. Any plus one pip to all targeted sides? Nah. I'll go Ghost Shield. Probably for Warlock. We want him to survive. I do think that if you play this party, though, and you get out of the early game, which isn't a guarantee because, again, you know, fucking thorns. But if you make it to this point, you're probably just so strong. Especially if you hit, like, a Warlock. I just get to blaze this idiot. He's so... he's just so dead. And I feel like this is also... Oh, this is not lethal, actually. It's actually kind of hard to kill this Hydra, isn't it? Never mind. Pretty easy when you get right down to it. Bork. Dr. Losing Regen does not bother me. Assassin, I don't want that with the loss. But Dr. Losing Regen is chill. Sadly, my magic staff is now worthless, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. It was good when I took it. Another big lesson that I'm learning is that something that I find is that I try to maximize value. I always try to make sure that I'm getting 100% value, right? I'm like, oh yeah, every item in its place sort of game plan, right? And that's just not very right, as it turns out. You don't have to do that. It's okay to have an item not get fully value use, but full value usage. I actually want to kill the alpha, I think. The warchief, it's just like you're overkilling him by so much that I'd rather kill the alpha because in theory, uh, he's more threatening, right? Uh-oh. Well, I guess we'll take a little bloodlust here. Uh, does this work? Oh, it does work. That's cool. Uh, and then let's do liquor. Or, no, can I do here? No. Okay, just take the end gauge off. It's silly. Oh, wait, he's taking the same anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I guess this is fine. It's just two wolves are spawning in. It's not like a big deal, it's just annoying. I don't imagine these two wolves are gonna threaten me too much. Cleanse here, yeah. Poison does nothing to presence as long as he's getting hit. He just has intangible. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, cleanse, self cleanse here. Three damage burst. Burst is at a half cost there, so I don't mind doing it. Just kill. Kill. It's half cost because you're getting one mana back for bursting on the bloodlust. You may as well take the value. Please. Somebody kill this wolf, thank you. Mushroom Chalice. And there's a tumble enemy for each wasted point of healing I receive. That's pretty cool. Because we can do a uh, big cleanse. Not a big cleanse, sorry. A, uh, yeah, I mean, it is a big cleanse. It's a uh, fucking. What's it called? Liquor. Could not think of the name. 
I'm not, I, I'm not actually sure I knew the name, come to think of it. I'll lock the shield to be safe for Doctor, because yeah, what if, right? What if? Um, I mean, I guess I'll take three mana Ooh. to kill the Null. It's fine. But, but what if we just completely miss Vampire and Doctor? It's more likely than you may think. I don't know if that's true or not. It happened though, so it's more likely than you may think. Again, I just find myself going, hmm, what if I nuked the Cyclops? Kinda good, right? Half off burst. And do another nuke, he's dead. As long as I want to kill the top target, it's a good play. But, kinda want to first burst slate here instead. Just get this guy out of here. I mean, surely I make mana, right? Yeah, surely, surely I make mana. If Doctor rolls me mana... Okay. I was gonna say, if he rolls me mana, it's very good. He did not. So I guess I just do four. First. First burst. Oh, he was living because of the presence of the fucking intangible HP, of course. That makes sense. May as well. Interesting. Why is he taking two? Oh, it's because he has boosted healing, of course. I gotcha. Pretty cool combo, all things considered. Oh, poor Prophet, man. Now here's a character who suffers. I'm still gonna click it because I well let me let me check. A hero. Tier three. You play not Wraith, not Forsaken, Shaman maybe. Well oh we could play Surgeon. I'll take Venom then. Venom brings the cleanse, which is nice. I'll hold out for Surgeon. I've been kind of thinking, I'm not 100% fixed on this opinion yet, but I've been kind of thinking that the strongest tier 3 red might be Surgeon now. Oh man, I am so disappointed in you guys. That is very upsetting. Burst this guy and then throw some poison on the bottom. Actually, we can throw poison at Tarantus. And I've just been having so many runs with Surgeon, where Surgeon goes like full-on savior run style. Character seems kind of nice with it. 2-2. Two, two. I really want to roll the cleanse for presence and mana here, maybe. Okay, well, this is worthless. Uh, I guess I could take lethal. That's probably best, because I'm going to lose anyway. I'd... Oh, Doctor doesn't survive. Hmm, hold on. So I overdid it here. We should go hit... Uh, you can't heal now. You heal yourself, I guess, and then cleanse. That'll work. Doctor's not living this shit anyway, so you may as well just let him die. This spell is actually... If, as long as the target I care about hitting is at the top, I think it is more efficient to cast Liquor, right? Because it's 3 for 12 right now. That's pretty wild. And using it with Presence is cool because Presence never takes more than a little bit of damage at a time. Oh, Mirror Mask I think would let me go around the blank. A trio to all damage size? We don't care about that. Let me take Mirror Mask. Does this work? Oh, it does. Interesting. So I could convert my presence here. We could move the ruby combo over here, and we could go turn our presence into another warlock. That's kind of cute, because you'll self-proc as well. I like that. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about this, but we could play big heart here, or a big heal on someone. Yeah, let's put big heart on warlock, actually. That one didn't even occur to me. But now I have a bunch of ways to nuke these guys. Oh, 
That's right, it's on you. Uh, you can lock two mana. Yeah, like a seven damage nuke here, pretty good. Alright, guys. And then... Did I overdo it here? Let's see, you could go like... I guess I just killed the spiker, actually. It's only good if the target I care about killing is at the top. This time I want to kill the spiker, so... And then it's also not that good if we're overkilling like crazy, but... And look at this turn. Oh boy. Kill. 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 Uh, kill. Kill. Oh my god, it kills with regen too? Oh, this is so ridiculous. I like Vessel here. We have a, or a side replacer, so we just get a free blessing for taking this character. Start of every third turn and get three mana. I will probably never see that, but that's cool. That's pretty neat. Uh huh. Okay, I'm down to lock this two damage. So we lead off here. Liquor kills the fanatic. It'll it's plus two, right? Plus two to incoming healing, so this does twelve. So he's dead. The bird is dead. And I could kill the shade, but the vessel dies. I think the vessel always is dead here though, sadly. Uh, unless I want to Let's see. Hold on. Can I save my vessel? I could hit this. First burst? No. I can't save my vessel and my vampire, I don't think. Because I have to go, like... You know, let's start fresh. Time, don't talk to me about time loop, mister. I need to hear it. I don't have to take this from you. I think this always goes here to lead off. Ah, uh, you know what? I think it's fine to just let the vessel go. We don't have to fight for it. I think he's always dead here. It's fine. <laughs> And five damage. That's oh, actually it's a little lower because he's down HP from something. I didn't see what. Um, can I save my doctor here? I don't think I can. A shame he got max rolled like this. Kind of fucked up. But. Oh, wait, maybe I can go... No, I'm off by one mana, right? First kill. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't even realize he was getting hit by both of them. Well, my mistake. My my fault. Second heart, Angel Feather. Oh, Angel Feather is pretty cool. Although top and bottom on Angel Feather is whatever. So I think I just take second heart. Plus one HP, yeah, that's fine. We can put second heart on Vessel so that he has a better time of not being killed off, I think. Actually, sorry, I didn't even realize. I could just put him with a pocket phylactery here. And then Vampire takes second heart and goes to 14. It's like the same, but now I have... It's almost exactly the same. But Vampire... It's a difference of one HP on both of them. Alright, well that's pretty cool. At least I saw it. You can delete your, your comment you were typing up. You are right. God, I do not like my team. These guys are all fucking idiots. I, I hate you guys. Please play better. Uh, so it's like, but I guess it's best to just go like this, because I'm still saving one mana and then kill the Wiz. The good news is it doesn't even matter if they miss, because I just win anyway. I... This curse is like... I can't really tell. I think sometimes it would just kill you at the start of a run. But actually, it feels like it gets better later on in the run, doesn't it? I don't know. Uh, it's Surgeon Fate Wraith left. Wraith is okay. I uh, Wraith is pretty bad. It's witch... I'd probably just take the Witch and call it a day. Oh yeah, we get South. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is pretty true. Okay. Oh, the hand through. 
I think if the hand summons on turn one, you basically just auto win. Very nice of him to do so. I have 10. I made 14 mana here. Let's see what we get. We get a salve. Is this kill? Cool. Good fight, buddy. I think I can actually save. Yeah, all right. GG. Close. Very close. Very close. Uh, <laughs> that was sick, man. What the hell? Uh, what a cool run. Iker Chalice. Uh, doctor. Sheesh. Hey, right on. Uh, thanks for watching. I got nothing else to say about this one other than hell yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.